What's up everyone and welcome to Friday here at the club. In today's video we're drawing Midas Rex from Fortnite. Now for this lesson we're going to start with the eyes and then work our way out. So let's start in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Starting on the left, draw on that circle. Going around towards the bottom and we'll just pull that back up towards the top. We're going to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of that circle. Bring that down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. And then we'll go over towards the right side and draw a small circle in the center for the pupil. And we'll fill the pupil in black. And we'll move up to the top and draw on the eyebrows. We're going to start over on the left side. We curve in towards the top of the eye and then pull that down on the inside. Line this up on the right, going up and then out. Let's go back to the inside, curve in and then up with a short line. Now we're taping the eyebrows out towards this point. So we're going to start on the outside. And the eyebrows are going to get thicker as we come in. Let's line up at the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center and draw the nose. We're going to start on the left, curve the nose coming down and then up. Let's step up and draw a short curve going up and down from the bridge of the nose. Now we're going to move down and draw on the mouth, starting back over on the left, put the mouth going up and then down. Step down in the middle, draw a short line going across for the lower lip. Now we're going to move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside edge of the left eye, we're going to step out and draw a large half circle. Coming down, underneath the mouth, round out the chin, and then go up on the right side. And we'll add those flaps going across the jaw, starting on the left side, angle down and in, line this up on the right, go up and out, and then from the inside we're going to come down and then bend that in towards the bottom of the chin. Now the hair is going to overlap the side of the head, so let's start right in the middle, step up, we're going to start with a point, and we'll brush the hair going out towards the left side. From the center we're going to go up, and then bend that down on the left side and we'll pull the hair going back up, going out and then bending that in. Let's move back out, go up and then in and then we'll add one more layer. Stepping out, curve up toward the top of the head. I'm just going to bend this down over on the right side. And we'll connect the top to the center with a curve. Coming down and then bending that in. I'm also going to add some texture inside the hair. Starting from the center, I'm just going to curve this up and then out. Step up and draw another curve, going up and out. And then halfway along the seam of the hair, I'm just going to curve the right side, going out and then down. Let's go up and bend that in. I'm going to add some more layers of hair. Stepping down, go out and then down. Taper that back up and in. Let's go back up to the top, curve up. We're just going to tuck this down in behind on the right side. Now with the hair in place, we can tuck the side of the head in underneath. Let's start on the left, we're going to bump up the side of the head, go up. Let's go up towards the top right on the side of the hair, bump up the side of the head, come down and then in. And then we'll draw the inside edge of the hairline. Starting back on the left, go straight up. Bend that in around the eyebrow. And then from here we go straight up underneath the hair. Let's go out to the side and draw on the ears. From the side of the head we'll step up, curve the ear going up, down, and then back in. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And now we're going to add the folds inside the ear. Let's start back on the left. We're going to curve up and out with a short line. Go back to the inside, curve out, and then hook that in. Let's go back and add that scar across the left eye. Start from the top, go up, and bend that in. And we'll taper that back in towards the eyebrow. And we'll add the scar coming down below. Coming down and in with a short line and taper that back up. 
Now that we've drawn the head, we're gonna move down and draw the sides of the body. We start over on the left side, curve the body going out, and then down towards the hip, move over towards the right, out, and then down towards the same height. And then from the hips, we're gonna angle up and in. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're gonna add some detail to the body. From the top of the body, we're gonna step in, draw two angle lines, one on the left, one on the right, and it'll connect the bottom with a curve, coming down and then up. And then from here, we're gonna step down, draw a straight line, going across from left to right, and down and out towards the side, and it'll go straight out towards the side of the body. Let's draw a circle in the center of the body, starting from the top, go all the way around, and then back up, and I'll trace this out along the inside. Let's connect this point to the bottom with a straight angled line. And then from the side of the circle, we'll go up and out. Let's add a strap along the side. On the left, we'll step up. Just follow that same angle line coming down towards the hips. Now there's a flap that comes down the center of the body. So let's start on the left side. Angle down and in, and we'll close this off with a straight line. Let's trace this out along the outside. Come down and in, and then we'll close off the bottom. From the bottom corners, we draw a straight line all the way down towards the bottom of the flap, and then we'll tear up the bottom. Starting back on the left, angle up and in, and we create this zigzag pattern going all the way across towards the right. Let's add that trim along the side. On the left, step in, the line coming down on both sides. And then we'll add that checkered pattern inside that flap. Starting from the center, angle down and out, step over. I'm just going to repeat this all the way down towards the bottom. And we want to go in the opposite direction. Starting from the bottom left, just go across. Now we're going to tuck the legs in underneath that flap. So we leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the heel on both sides. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting on the left, curve the foot coming down and then up towards the toes. And now we're going to round out the top of the feet. Starting back on the left, so we curve up, bend the foot coming down, aiming towards the heel, and then leave a gap on the inside. And then from the inside, we'll angle up and in with a straight line. Let's move all the way back up to the hips and draw the side of the leg. Starting on the left, curve the leg going out, and then down on top of the foot. And we'll add some detail to the legs. Let's start by adding a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We're gonna take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. And then we'll add a toe cap, starting from the outside of the leg at the bottom, curve in and then down. Let's go to the top of the foot, step up on the outside, curve down and up. Run this up on the right side. Now we're gonna move up and draw that same curve. We're gonna go in behind the flap on either side. Let's go to the outside of the flap at the top, draw a short line going out. Go down and out towards the bottom, just up above that trim. And we'll follow that same curve going out towards the side of the leg. And then we'll add a simple gun holster on the side of the leg. Starting from the hip, draw a short line going out. Straight down, and then just pull that back in behind the leg. And we'll go back up to the top corner, step in, draw a short line going up, and then pull that back in behind the hips. Let's move up to the side and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway between the top of the body and the hip, starting right here, curve the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right, do the same thing. And then from the wrist, we're going to round out the thumb. We come in and bend that out like a half circle. 
at the end, we'll add a bracket. Let's add in three fingers. We're going to start at the bottom of the thumb, we come down, round up the finger, and then go up around the bracket. Step down, go down and up the second finger. And then the third finger, we're going to go out. I'm just going to pull this up towards the top of the glove, to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come down, and then up. And the second finger. And then the third finger, we're just going to pull this up towards the same height. From the outside of the cuff, I'm just going to pull this in and then bend this down towards the inside of the arm. Let's add a trim on the inside. Starting from the inside line, step out, short line going out and down, and we'll down and in, just up above the wrist. We're going to overlap the glove on top of the arm. So from this top point, we're going to step in, curve the arm going up and in with a short line. And then we'll round out the shoulders. Starting back on the left, go straight up, then bend that in behind the head. Let's go back to the base of the shoulder and go down and in with a straight line. And then from here, we're just gonna curve up and in towards the top of the body. Let's go back to the inside of the arm at the very top, curve up and out right beside the shoulder. And then from here, we're gonna angle down and out towards the edge of the glove. Let's move back down and separate out the wrist. Start from the top of the thumb, curve up and then out. Let's go to the outside of the hand, draw a straight angle line coming down and in, just up above the fingers. And then from here, we're gonna curve up and in towards the inside. Do the same thing on the right. Come down and in. We'll pull this up and in towards the cuff. And that's pretty much it. There's Minus Rex from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.